unto the sun I vow my flame. O oh, beloved of the light, Uriel and Aurora greet you this night in the joy, the purest joy of his presence. O oh, the name I am that I am. O oh, the name of Christ Jesus before which every tongue should confess, every knee should bow, for herein lies the road, the royal road to reintegration with the universal light. Herein, therefore, is the return to godliness and godhood set aside so long ago that the children of the sun scarcely can believe upon awakening from the long sleep of a dark night, upon rubbing their eyes and seeing the presence of the Lord of the world, that they too were once endued with such power and wisdom and love, that therefore, because it was in the beginning, it shall be in the ending. Thus the return to God and godly manifestation is the subject of our instruction and our teaching. It is the way made plain and it is for you, not a mere regression to a former state, but a reintegration with the highest state of perfect man, perfect woman, in the causal body of Elohim. Blessed ones, seek then penetration to the superconscious plane. Never look back. Never go back, for it does not matter. It does not matter. Only God is real where I am. I am the light bearer, and in bearing that light, beloved, I have gone to the darkest places to expose, therefore, the fallen ones in their lair and those who have spread the lie of the force of the anti-God. You see I trace their course by the moving finger that writes, and the finger of God does find out, therefore, that which is said in secret, which will now be shouted from the housetop. Let the judgment of God appear, for it is the hour in 1986 for my return, for my vindication of the sons and daughters of God and the Lord's vindication of the path of the Divine Mother in the person of the woman clothed with the sun. Nearer and dearer to your heart, does this cosmic being descend until all the world is filled with the glory of the Divine Mother and her sign is seen as effect in every area of life, every compartment of knowledge? Beloved ones, ere this become the reality in the physical octave, there must be the binding of the force of the anti-woman this has not to do with the feminist movement, but everything to do with the divine incarnation of the motherhood of God in all who wear the feminine ray in this life, as well as in those who hold the masculine flame and therefore as Buddhic warriors and Christian pilgrims do hold with absolute adoration the womb manifestation, the portal of the birth of the eternal Christ. Beloved ones of the sun, therefore to this end are we come in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
And the sun behind the sun, and the cosmic Christ thereof, we say, let the tormentors of woman and her seed go down by the flaming sword of Elohim of peace. Let them go down in this hour, for they have not sought to destroy a religion or a place of worship or even a community of the Holy Spirit. It is woman herself whom they determined to put down, even the very joy of Omega in millions of hearts. Recognize then this opposition to light for what it is, for the personification of mother within you is indeed the rising ascension flame personified in the kundalini fire. The soul of the hosts of darkness have assailed the mother in the sons and daughters of God to deter that rising flame, to strike it down at every hand. I say then, sent from the heart of God in the great central sun, I am come, we are one, and the intensity of the light does probe and penetrate then the reasons behind the reasons of those who assail not alone this messenger, but all men and women of the spirit who have taken up the sword of the Divine Mother in the name of her children. This, you might say, is the incidental crossroads of Armageddon. Where one is assailed, the many will not rise above that level. Thus, without the victory of the mother in this hour, beloved ones, very personally in your circumstance and everywhere on earth, others who come on the path of initiation will rise no higher than the level of that defeat. Thus, in all areas, in education, in the field of abortion, and in the lives of little children. Let the Divine Mother be defended, that she might defend her own. For to strike the Divine Mother is as the saying goes, smite the shepherd and the sheep are scattered. Therefore destroy the image, the purity and the office of the Holy Mother in every family, and you have indeed smitten the Holy Child and the child without the blessedness and the holiness of mother can only be coming, can only become then that human one and that human eye nor mortal form. Blessed ones of the central sun, legions of victory, descend in the name of Helios and the star and lest the masks be torn from the oppressors who come in the name of justice. Justice is not their cause, for they worship the money beast. Greed is in their hearts and more. The desire to destroy then the image of woman here and there and everywhere, and at inner levels they are linked on the astral plane to everything from pornography to the denial of the divine right of woman, to be then the inspiration and the point of aspiration of all society. Blessed ones, I am the angel who does implement the judgments of God. In this hour then I bid you call with me, for I too stand with Gabriel, and I stand and I still stand, and by the power of the cosmic cross of white fire, it shall come to pass that truth as Pallas Athena is vindicated, that justice as Portia is vindicated, that mercy as Quan Yin is vindicated, that liberty as the goddess of liberty is vindicated, and that love as Nada is vindicated. 
let all saints and lady masters of heaven who have expanded the great god flame come nigh to thee in the presence of archangels now for in the perfect electronic presence of the holy virtues and the virgins who ensoul them blessed archaea of the sun there is then in the earth the perfect presence of the peers of the divine mother who stand as the witness unto the integrity, the integration of the path, and the manifestation of that truth in the fullness of time and space. Time and space are not, for the sacred fire does blaze from the altar. Let the four and twenty elders then speak. Let them speak and resound their word through your heart. Let the Logos be known. Let it be known in the reverberations as the central sun does press out. Beloved ones, Aurora as the dawn does bring the dawn of a new age. Let elemental life adjust then the earth with all due consideration of the mercy of the law, as well as with karmic cycles that must be rectified. Adjustments must come. May you be found in the perfect poise of the Prince of Peace, where I am always the I am that I am. I am with you, beloved, and I place now the light of my energy upon your electromagnetic field once again for the healing of the aura. If you give me leave by silent ascent in this moment, I am touching and balancing the petals of the solar plexus. I raise my hand and I conduct now the place of the sun and upon it a great sun disk I am the sealing, I am the healing, I am the balancing of the ten petals of the law. Lo, I am that I am, and the judgment of the sixth ray is the parting of the way of anger. If you give me leave, I enter now your electronic belt for the binding of the core of those demons of anger that have tormented you and your life stream and your home and family. Beloved ones of the light, let the anger of hell be exorcised from you. You who have kept the vigil in this hour, who desire to be free with the saints of God, I say it has no longer any power over you. Take dominion now in the plane of the sun, in the heart of Helios and Vesta. For I have assisted, but you must have the victory over the beast. To you belongs this trial and this victory. Beloved ones, the testing of your soul for the exorcism of foul spirits must be your own conquest, for by that strengthening you see, they will not return to, em to an empty house to enter again. Beloved ones of the sun, know that the purging of the God flame, the purging of the body of God in the earth is a sacred fire action, and it is a strengthening action, and by that strengthening you are also made pillars of fire that become electrodes to transmit the flame of God's justice and judgment, even as my angels perform this service Therefore, they become as pillars of fire throughout this city and county, and they remain standing as sentinels of God's justice. And you will see changes taking place, first at inner levels and on the outer, for we seek the turning around of the downward spiral in this city and the acceleration of the upward movement rising back to the heart of the sun. May life waves who are worthy of the calling receive then the cosmic spin in this healing power of the resurrection flame born by millions of angels who plant now the resurrection flame of the Lord Christ 
and his victory over death and hell. We are sealing this city in light. We are binding then the bottom 10% of the evil forces who assail it, and they are bound on the astral plane. And this city is also swept clean by elemental life of fire, air, water, and earth. And there is a purging, and the purging is for the prevention of cataclysm. Therefore know the Lord, therefore understand his judgment, therefore understand that mighty store that does stand in the very heart of hearts of that focal point of life. I am the placing of the sword in my presence then, where it all ought to be for the victory of the light. I am in the center of the flaming presence of the lords of karma. I am for God justice, and I am bringing to naught those who are the tempters and the tormentors and the, oh, those who would destroy the woman and her seed as the guru chila relationship in every octave of light. The Sanat Kumara descends. He descends in the wake of the mighty archangels and he does place his electronic presence with the seven holy kumaras for God justice in all seven points of the law. And you may see them now, the defenders who are the eternal youth, who come then empowered by the Divine Mother for the victory of the forces of evil that have assailed the youth of the entire world through that which has gone forth out of this city. Beloved ones, there is no area of life where evil spawned has not become an avant-garde movement out of the fads and fancies of individuals in this city who are not of the light. And therefore, they have polluted the matrix of the seat of the soul chakra. And Saint Germain and Portia stand to give the acceleration of that chakra now. And they are blazing forth the light and establishing that matrix for the descent of Lord Zadkiel, who does come now to speak to you for the mighty sealing action of this judgment of the Lord Christ in the sixth ray. Beloved ones, we remain, and we still remain until the hour is fulfilled, until the God justice does appear, until the judgment is known, and the victory of the light is won. Hail, mighty victory! Hail, mighty victory! Hail, mighty victory! I, Uriel with Aurora, salute thee, thou God from the sun. Universe. 